the drought targets. Will we really have to give up our lawns? <laughs> I'm afraid some of us are going to have to give up some more. Um, the governor has an overall 25% water use reduction goal um, for each of the water utilities in the state, including the city of Riverside and municipal utility. The state water quality control board set our target at 28%. Uh, we made arguments to them that we thought were compelling that we should be at a much lower level because we don't take any imported water. We have, they have criteria and we meet them. We have more than four years of water in storage. Should have put us at 4% target. They just ruled yesterday, no, we're 28%. Mm. So the utility board is going to be making a recommendation for how we achieve 28% to the console. And the console is going to have to adopt some really tough rules on use of water in our city, and I think it is going to affect our lawns, but I can't tell you exactly what it will look like yet. Mr. Pitkarski. Certainly we all need to be mindful of the water situation, but I think the real issue here goes back to trust and transparency, and I think the reason why we're, some of us are maybe digging our heels and a little hesitant is because we don't believe some members of our council. We don't believe that there's that transparency there. For example, I have nothing against growth, when we're talking about building thousands of homes out in La Sierra, where was that water going to come from? So they want us to sacrifice so they can build more homes out in La Sierra. And that's a plan that Mike was behind. And so I'm wondering about the inherent contradiction of that. The other thing is, in terms of transparency about water and asking us to sacrifice, we don't. I think people are skeptical about the whole sewer fund thing and skeptical about where the money is, the public utility slush fund that's in excess of 100 million. When you don't create transparency, people question and they mistrust, and the, the, the machinery of government breaks down. And I think that speaks for a need for change, actually. Mr. Gardner. I'm sorry, Mike, back on the original question, or am I responding? You're responding to his comments okay. if you choose. But just very quickly, I did not take a public position on Measure A, the La Sierra Hills project. Um, I did not speak for it anywhere. Um, I think there were some potential advantages to it and there were a lot of disadvantages to it. But regardless, it was on the ballot and the citizens of Riverside voted it down. It's not happening. It was never a city project. It was a privately proposed project. Thank you. 